Hey folks, Gary Ruplinger here with another Open VBX tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get phone numbers from Twilio and connect them to flows in Open VBX. So this should be a short, pretty simple video, uh, but I just want to walk you through it just uh, in case you have any questions about how to do it. So the first thing you do here is you go to your Twilio.com uh, website and log into your account. Now up in the top right corner here, if you uh, don't see my account it'll say log in and you can enter your information I'm already logged in so I'm just gonna click on my account now when I'm on the dashboard here when I get logged in what I want to do is I want to click on numbers now on the bottom here it's showing numbers I've already purchased uh, but what I want to do right now is I want to buy a number so I want to get a new number um, Short codes are something that would be a possibility in the future. Remember, it takes 8 to 12 weeks to get one, and they're $1,000 a month or so. Um, so if you really need one, you know, it's it's a good time to think ahead and plan for it. But in the meantime, you can always stick with these local numbers as they're only a dollar a month apiece. So uh, when you're getting a number, what do you get? Do you, do you go for some phrase over here? Um, you could, but keep in mind that... Uh, most of the time it's better just to use uh, numbers instead of letters in a, in a phone number uh, simply because not all phones anymore have that uh, that number pad. I know some Blackberries don't and some feature phones uh, that use keyboards that don't have touch screens don't have that those numbers on the dialer anymore so you'll have some people who actually can't dial your phone number if you use a word in it like 555 home or something like that so Personally, I just like to stick with a local area code for the area I'm dealing with. So I work a lot in southeast Wisconsin, so that is the area code there. So I'm going to do a search and see what it comes up with. Now keep in mind that the search isn't instantaneous. It can take uh, anywhere from 15 to, I don't know, 65 seconds, maybe sometimes two minutes. Today it's pretty fast, but if it takes a while, just be patient. It'll, it'll come up with more info. All right, so I'm just going to scroll through these here and see if anything stands out. Um, let's see, I'm just kind of looking for, for something that seems to have a, a good good flow of, of numbers to it. Um, none of those are all that great. Let's see. Give me a few more here that I like. And again, it did takes a little while as you as you're going through this. And if you're in an area that doesn't have uh, a lot of numbers available, you may not get uh, a ton to work with. Um, let's see. I like this one here, three seven seven zero four four two. We'll go with that. So all I do here is I click the buy button, and it's going to say one dollar will be deducted from my monthly balance. This number can take incoming calls, make outgoing calls, and send and receive text messages. Fantastic. That's what I want. Perfect. All right, this number is now instantly available in my account. Sweet, right? No waiting. Love it. But now let's go over here to Open VBX. All right, so uh, for the, me, I just went to openvbxinstallers.com slash vbxdemo, and it brings me to this home page. Now what I want to do here is with the new caching in the new version, if you're not using APC caching and it's not on a lot of servers. so if yours doesn't have that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to settings um, and you're going to want to click about. Now you see down here in caching, we want to click flush all caches. This is going to make OpenVVX go and get all its information that currently is on Twilio. Otherwise, it waits an hour in between a refresh, which means it could take an hour for you to see your number. And I don't want to wait an hour to finish this video. So I'm going to click flush all caches. All right, and I'm just going to take a few minutes here to do that. Boom, it's flushed. You can see up here the nice little message. So now I should be able to see this in my numbers. And I don't. Okay, what I had to do here is uh, since I have OpenVBX installed on other different sites, I actually had to go in and unshow this this here. You probably won't see numbers used on other domains if you only have one installation of it. Uh, but you can see the number is right here now. And I just clicked on import number. So now I want to send it to this particular flow. All right, and I want to click OK. 
and this is the flow I've set up just for this particular video here. So if I click on flows, as soon as it uh, goes here, now you can see that this this phone number is associated with this particular flow. So that's all you need to do to do that. Now you can edit your call flow, edit your SMS flow, and it'll all work through that particular number. Pretty sweet, right? So that's all there is to it. It's actually pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know at openvbxinstallers.com, or you can post a comment in the video below, whatever works best for you. All right, guys, take care, and hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time.